just talking to myself, isn't it? It's just talking to myself. It's all groovy. It's fun. So today I'm going to be talking about gratitude, um, simply because I feel like it's the most important thing you could possibly have when times are shit or you feel like you don't have much to be grateful for, that is when. It is the most important thing to consciously practice it, not just by accident, not just by that, okay, but to drill it into your brain. like almost infiltrating your brain with gratitude so that no matter what happens you will always just appreciate what you do have. Probably the most impactful thing of all the spiritual practice stuff I've done, gratitude, like that one simple thing, has just absolutely changed everything for me. I'm a much less grumpy bitch now, uh, which was good. <laughs> also, if you're trying to manifest anything, uh, whenever I'm trying to manifest anything, I have to be like super careful with what I'm thinking and what I'm saying, um, both to like people around me and to myself. Um, because obviously gratitude is one of the two highest vibrations you could possibly be at. And this is the thing, when you're in a state of gratitude and you're feeling that high, vib high vibration, uh, potential in the quantum field is going to match to that vibration and more good things are going to come into your life. It's just the way it is, if you want the science behind it, look into um, Dr. Do Joe Dispenza. Um, I'm reading one of his books at the moment and it's just like blown my mind because all of the spiritual stuff I've followed for quite a few years, you know, I've sort of had my doubts about um, here and there, I feel like everyone does, but to come into information that these things are genuinely being scientifically proven just like changes the game for you um but yeah he does a lot of writing and lectures uh online you can find videos uh about gratitude and the law of attraction and stuff and yeah i've been uh i've been getting a little bit into buddhism lately um i wouldn't call myself a buddhist i just I'm very interested in the teachings and I want to incorporate incorporate, incorporate uh, some of the Buddhist teachings into my spiritual witchcraft practice um, because I think there's obviously a lot of wisdom in them. So one of the main overall things uh, from the Buddhist teachings is, it's very well known but even I didn't know this until like a few weeks ago weirdly, but it's about how you accept that there's suffering, but that the cause of suffering mostly is from desire. And obviously desire is kind of like the opposite of gratitude in a way. It's not being content with what you have, it's striving and like lusting and like wanting a bit of this over here. You can have a healthy desire of course, but I think when a lot of people go on a route of desire, they almost start to feel like a sense of lack uh, and that's obviously kind of the cause of suffering and this sounds really ironic but I feel personally like being in a state of gratitude and practicing gratitude and being grateful is not dependent on what you have like it's unconditional all the time that you're only being grateful when things are going your way or you feel like you have abundance uh, in that period of time. We're basically basing our happiness on our external surroundings. It's not about being grateful depending on what you have at the time. It's about being grateful no matter what you have. Another thing that uh, pretty much like just goes to show how important gratitude is in spiritual practice, especially if you're doing like witchcraft or anything like that. Um, in the 13 goals or principles of a witch, two of the things are keeping your thoughts in good order and keeping your actions in good order. And 
it does not I don't need to I, I don't need to tell anyone that your thoughts basically translate and manifest through your actions so if you're coming from a place of gratitude your thoughts are usually going to be in line and therefore your actions are going to come out accordingly uh, and I think that's one of the most beautiful things about it it's like this infinite loop going from inside or from external things but things that you have power over and things that you can bring into your life like Penelope here um, you know I made the decision to just surround myself with plants bring the outdoors inside if I'm gonna have to be inside for all this time um, and yeah I think it's okay to make yourself grateful by bringing external things into your life uh, as long as you're not basing your gratitude on things that are out of your control um, all of this crap at the moment that we're going through like like people's jobs being taken away uh, obviously people losing out on their education gratitude's like vary about the present moment as well the present dimension I think one of the things I do in my brain um, is I start thinking off in like terms of other dimensions and what I mean by that is not like astral stuff but sort of other dimensions in terms of when you say to yourself ah oh, well if this had happened then bloody bloody blah, blah or if oh I had this then bloody bloody blah, blah, blah that's like thinking in terms of other dimensions um, and gratitude is very much about staying in this present time in this present dimension because that's where your power is that's where you are right now that's where your power is that is where and when you have the ability to change your mind, change your life, um, and become happy. You can't become happy in somewhere that you don't have access to, that's just dust. Um, now, the whole gratitude thing pretty much applies for me, like, all the time. But funnily enough, I got way more into it during lockdowns um because you get you slip so easily into a state of lack and i feel like if you consciously remind yourself of the things you do have whatever they may be the things you do have then it just like changes your mental health completely for me personally i'm the bin man the bin man is staring at me <laughs> okay, can you actually recycle my things, please? Because you always put it in the general waste. So for me at the moment, I'm in halls. I'm in halls of residence. I'm my first year of university. I'm doing all of my learning online, like a lot of people. Um, like a lot of people paying almost 10 grand a year uh, just to, you know, sit at our computers and all this sort of thing. And I feel like is very easy to fall into that thing of ah oh, like why is it why me why this year of all the years why does it have to be now you know I'm in the most fun youthful years of my life I'm supposed to be out doing freshers things socializing I'm supposed to be using all the incredible equipment at my university campus etc etc um, and you know like I hear people in my halls say these things all the time and it's totally valid like I don't get me wrong I have complained here and there about these things because it's almost impossible not to but when I catch myself doing it the thing I found really helpful is to switch it around if there's been any like whingy thoughts that morning I take them and I switch them around and I put them on the page and I recite them three times back to myself out loud so for me I had a gap year already um, that was ruined by corona and I know that if I had not come to uni this year and stayed at home for like another year I would pretty much just be back home with my family probably trying to do creative stuff but then not feeling up to it all that thought of yada yada um so yeah i've taken a negative and i've turned it into a positive 
because I'm like, at least I have what I have now. Me and my friend, we've made a rule to stop complaining about the university accommodation. Um, just because like exactly that, like complaining. It got us, it, it let us get the anger out at first uh, with the situations that we were under at the beginning. But if you drag that out, like it's not doing anything anymore. Um, me, like me for example, both of us, we're paying 800 pounds for the rooms we have. Granted they're lovely rooms, but then there's people across the hall that have rooms three times the size of the Harbour Views, etc, etc, and we're all, all paying the same price. And I remember for like the first month we would just go on and on about it. And it was only kind of recently that I started to just accept it and love the room that I was given, the room that I have. See all the good parts of it, like nothing's ever completely good or completely bad. You're always going to have positives, you're always going to have negatives. I have these beautiful big windows in my room and I can see the little kitties that come out onto the road and I can see all the plants down in the quarry. Um, and yeah, I think it's taking what you have and just loving it and making it better. Uh, and yeah, my room's a pretty good example of that. It was only recently that I'd started to fill it with plants and do feng shui and just make it a really sacred space uh, that I could like appreciate even more. I think another way that it can help is even if you feel like you're in a state of lack, you can always be grateful for opportunity. In everything, in all phases of life, there's always potential and opportunity and it comes from us. And that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Some people, you know, like less fortunate people, possibly in other countries, never have, often never have anywhere near as much opportunity and potential as we come into contact around us and in our lives, uh, living in Western countries and etc. etc. And even that, if you feel like you genuinely don't have anything to be happy for, know that everything is temporary and everything is always that just a vibration of potential and we can put our intention into that and create something beautiful possibly in the future but it all starts with the now it all starts with the now i know a lot of creative people especially we get intimidated by opportunity i i certainly do it's taken me a long time to get to filming YouTube videos. It's taken me a long time to properly start learning guitar. It's taken me ages to just start doing art again because I enjoy it. Or start to learn new things like more complex tarot readings. Because it comes from intimidation of opportunity. I feel like when you start doing those things because you're holding yourself back, it's almost like preventative ego. And if you're grateful for opportunity and if you remind yourself to be grateful of all potential, I feel like we start to see these little things that we could be doing as much more appealing to us and it's not so scary anymore because you realise that it's such a privilege to even be able to do these things that we want to do or maybe that we have to do or we feel like we need to do to fully be ourselves. What am I grateful for today? Um, Pam. My mummy got me him, and I love him very much. I'm really starting to like love inner child practices and like enchanting cuddly toys and all that sort of thing. It makes me really happy. Um, I'm also grateful for all my friends that I have in this building, uh, in halls and stuff. Uh, obviously, like I can't see my family at the moment. Uh, luckily, I got to see them over Christmas but I'm really happy for the people that I do have around me because uh, in my first term, I, even though I had all these same people around me, because uh, I was in a state of lack, I didn't go and make an effort with these people because my attitude was very, oh, uh, like I feel isolated in my studio, everyone else has a communal area. Uh, oh, I feel very isolated, I feel like no one ever wants to invite me to anything, like blah, 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 blah. 
Um, and this term has been so different. I've come in feeling grateful for every opportunity to truly connect with someone in my building. And th like these last two months, I feel like I've really created a community of friends. Uh, and we're all just plodding along, uh, getting through all the corona crap together. And it's quite beautiful, really. What else am I grateful for today? I am grateful for my course tutors, bless them. Kind of out of their hands, but they make such an effort to try and make us feel the most normal we can. Uh, and they're really patient with us and they're very sympathetic. So yeah, um, if you fancy it, I would love to see some comments down below um, from wherever you are in the world, uh, whatever situation you're in. Just putting down some things that you're grateful for, things that make you happy, things that you really appreciate, um, maybe things that you remind yourself of when you're feeling down. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is pretty much just a ramble, because um, I wanted to start getting some vids out, because it's something I always wanted to do, and I thought it would be really nice to just start off on a really positive note. Um, oh my god, I am keep burping. How do I end a video? I don't really know, I've never done it before. I have, but it was a bit cringe. Um, so yeah, I hope wherever you are, you're having a really nice time, and if you're not, then it gets better. Uh, and blessed be. Thank you so much.